Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, also known as myalgic encephalomyelitis, is a debilitating long-term condition that affects around 1% of the population. The presentation is highly variable, ranging from relatively normal lives all the way to bedridden patients, but it is estimated that 25% are housebound for a period of their lives and 75% are unable to work. According to the United States Center of Disease Control, unexplained fatigue alongside a significant drop in the ability to perform activities compared to before the illness is a main feature of chronic fatigue syndrome. This needs to have been present for over six months. There is also a worsening of symptoms in the 48 hours after physical or mental activity, which can last for weeks, termed post-exertional malaise. Sleep disturbance is common, including people who despite sleep still remain fatigued, termed unrefreshing sleep. On top of these, prevalent symptoms include orthostatic intolerance, which means feeling lightheaded or experiencing vision changes with changes in position such as standing or sitting upright, and cognitive issues often referred to as brain fog. These are the main symptoms, however several others have also been linked to chronic fatigue syndrome, including chronic muscle pain or headaches, gastrointestinal symptoms, upper respiratory tract symptoms like a sore throat, and even shortness of breath and palpitations. The exact cause and mechanism remains unknown, but due to some presentations beginning after influenza-like illness or gastroenteritis, some have hypothesized an infectious cause, but no definitive evidence has been produced. However, certain risk factors have been identified. Females are between two and four times more commonly affected than males, according to the Center of Disease Control. Although it can affect any age group, the 30 to 60 age bracket is the most commonly affected. There are some perceptions that chronic fatigue syndrome is a psychological illness. However, the Center of Disease Control describe it as a biological illness and the World Health Organization classified it as a neurological disease in the ICD-11. The CDC have criteria for the diagnosis that are based on the signs and symptoms. They include more than six months of fatigue affecting day-to-day -day life that was previously not present, post-exertional malaise and unrefreshing sleep, as well as either cognitive dysfunction or orthostatic intolerance. It is most commonly diagnosed after exclusion of other conditions that may cause similar presentations. Examples include hypothyroidism, anemia, and celiac disease, to name a few. Fibromyalgia may also feature chronic pain, sleep disturbance, and fatigue. But in fibromyalgia, the tender points are more specific, and allodynia, meaning disproportionate pain in response to mild stimulation, is more frequent. There are no specific tests for chronic fatigue syndrome, but investigations may be done to rule out other conditions. No specific cure or medical therapy currently exists. The focus is improvement of quality of life, and so a multidimensional approach is taken. Cognitive behavioral therapy is advised by NICE as a way to help cope with the illness. Many patients who receive cognitive behavioral therapy report it is ineffective. Graded exercise therapy was previously used, but has since been removed from the NICE guidelines as although it can have benefits for fatigue and sleep, it does not consistently produce an improved quality of life. Rintatolimod is a double-stranded RNA medication used to modulate antiviral immune reactions. It has been approved in Argentina, but is not approved in the United States or widespread globally. A recent study also showed that there is some relief of symptoms with the use of oxygen ozone autohemotherapy, but the mechanism is not clear. 